Hello, I am Max from Test Drive Blogs, and today we are going to have a look at the 2002 Lincoln Blackwood. You may be wondering what exactly is a Lincoln Blackwood because only about 3,500 of them were sold in between 2002 and 2003. Basically, it is a Ford F-150 with a Lincoln Navigator front end and a very useless bed. And yes, you did see that right, that is a carpeted bed. As you may be able to tell, this truck was intended to be a long production run truck because they came out with a Mark LT a few years later. But it failed really hard due to the fact it was $55,000, somewhere around there, brand new. When the starting price for a Harley-Davidson F-150 that was supercharged two-wheel drive is $36,000. While having such a high price, the only option for the Lincoln Blackwood in both 2002 and 2003 was a 5-inch color navigation screen. Going on into the interior, it's the same dilemma. You can get a high-end supercharged V8 uh F-150 for $20,000 less that has all of the options as you can see here in the Blackwood, which leather and uh, navigation and all of that kind of stuff. One thing I noticed that actually made me laugh a lot was the fact that the turn signal stock on the Lincoln Blackwood, a 54,000 MSRP truck, was the exact same turn signal stock as my $11,000 or whatever MSRP Ford Ranger has. Looking at the exterior styling, as I said, it's more of a mix of a Ford F-150 and a Lincoln Navigator than anything, as it has the entire front clip off a Navigator, as well as uh, the brake lights off of a Navigator, as well as these weird chrome strips that run down the side of the bed that I don't understand personally. I mean, I guess they kind of look cool. Like, if you want to, if you don't want uh, wood grain, but you do like the look of it. The engine is a 5.4 liter V8, as you may have guessed, was also used in the Ford F-150. Makes about 260 horsepower, not really incredibly much. Uh, drivetrain is only rear-wheel drive, which makes no sense. Like, why would you not make it all-wheel drive? But whatevs. There's not really much to say about the driving because it drives like a Ford F-150. So, yeah, it drives nice, though. So all in all, the Lincoln Blackwood was a truck that was killed off early in production because it was too expensive and it was extremely useless. I consider this truck the official truck if I were to give it a regular car reviews review thing. It would be the truck, the official truck of why do I exist? Because there's no reason that this, this should exist. But anyways, thank you guys very much for watching this first little review by me. If you would like to see more, be sure to leave a comment, like, subscribe, all that kind of stuff down below and whatever. And I'm out of here. See ya!